guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with a brand new video. It is the end of March, and we are about to be going into April, so it's kind of already springtime. At least it is here in Florida. I am here with the Springtime Beauty book tag. This tag was created by Sam from Sam's Nonsense, and I have not looked at the questions, so this is gonna be a surprise for everybody. Question number one, spring at sun. The days are getting longer and the sun is starting to shine. Name a book that fills you with hope. I am going to go with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. It has been a while since I have reread this book, but whenever I read it, by the ending, I'm always feeling really good about doing things with my life and what's gonna happen towards the end of college or even the end of the current semester. It just makes me feel really good. Question number two. I don't know how to say this word. Is it crocuses? That doesn't sound right. Okay, that word and tulips. Spring flowers are starting to sprout everywhere. Name an author or series you just discovered you want to start or read more from. So I actually just recently read last month in February, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. So I'd really like to continue this series with Lola and the Boy Next Door and eventually Isla and the Happily Ever After. Question number three, a cool breeze. The days are getting warmer but are still nice and cool not in Florida. Name a character that was like a breath of fresh air. I can't really think of a specific character that was like a breath of fresh air, but there are a lot of contemporary books that I read that are just like, oh my god, I forgot how great it is to read like such and such an author. Uh, specifically, I feel that with Casey West. Um, a couple months ago, I read Love Life in the List, and I read that in like eight hours. So reading that, it just felt so good to remember how nice and easy it is to read Casey West books and how much I love her contemporaries and how how simple and easy they are and, and light. Question number four, blossoming trees. All the trees are bursting with spring color. Show some book covers that remind you of spring. I'm gonna go back to the Stephanie Perkins series because these three books are gorgeous. We have pink, orange, and a blue green. And they definitely remind me of spring and even summer too. Question number five, t-shirts and shorts. With warmer weather comes cooler clothing. What is your favorite shortest book? So I can have two answers for this. These are not necessarily the shortest books I own, but they are pretty short. Um, the first one is The Selection by Kira Cass. This is about a 250 to 300 page book that is so good. I love it. I always love describing this book. It is um, The Bachelor set in a futuristic monarchy, um, and I just love it. Uh, it reads like a contemporary, but it is actually dystopian, which I still find shocking. And the other short book that I enjoy is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. This is about 300 pages. I think it's like 330. Um, this is fantastic, and I'm so glad that I got on this boat before the movie. Um, it is so amazing, so simple, and just it has great representation and it's just an awesome storyline that I loved. Question number six, spring is the time for new beginnings. What series or series are you hoping to start this year? One that I would really like to start and the third book is actually coming out very soon in the next couple of weeks or it might already be out and that is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. These are Sherlock Holmes retellings and I have just had such a fascination with this cover and I'm actually going to be picking this up in April. Hint, hint, surprise, surprise, sneak peek on my April TBR. But I'm really excited to pick this up and I really hope that I enjoy it. And question number seven, springtime beauty. What are some of your favorite spring flowers? Um, I can't think of any specific flowers that are relevant to spring. Um, tulips are pretty, um, but I mostly just stick to roses. They're my favorite flower. Um, but I can't think of any specific spring ones that I like. So guys, that is all I have for this springtime beauty book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like to check out my vlog channel, Chloessence, it's linked in the description below. And if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!